Hi, today I want to show you a tutorial how to make imitation fur with the new VRoid Studio 1.11's feature of the bodysuit. You find it in the inner top section right here with the bodysuit. It has a lot of interesting toggles to make interesting body features like this. This is how the body looks when you have the fur technique applied on every area where you can apply it, which is not the face but it is on the hands. There will be stretching, I don't like it. So I will also show you how to make a body mask to remove the parts that you don't want to for clothes. I will give this avatar underwear and also no fuzzy bottom sides of the feet and hands. For that I will be using the browser editor photopia.com which is really easy to use. What you should have at this point is your body texture and also preferably the body guide. You can export it from Revoid if you need it. Drop in the guide and to create a new layer, drop in what you want to wear, the clothes. And then you also go on layer, new layer. And on the left side, gradient tool, right click paint bucket I'm on the white paint bucket, great. All right, this will be your mask. Let's start with the bottom. You se uh, select the magic wand tool, select the bottom, go on the layer you want to edit and select the eraser. Up in the corner here, you can make it way bigger. That makes it easier. So you can just go over here and remove it real quick done. We can make this invisible because we don't need it anymore and we go back to the guide. This time we use a different selection, the polygonal lasso. Oops. I need to zoom in. <coughs> because it's really hard to get this li line straight down here. With the polygonal lasso, lasso it's really easy. You can leave out the nails for the bodysuit because, as for now, they are not attached. If that will be changed in future versions, you can just also select them. Oh, I forgot to also hit in the corner over here, you need to hit Unite, because now this one is deleted. Smart. This is just a one take no cutting, real-time editing, so please bear with me. Back to the normal lasso, because it's way easier to just go around like this. I'm using my trackpad, not even a mouse. You don't need a tablet for this, it's a really easy edit. Uh? Oh, because I used a different tool? You want to say that to me? CTRL-C, CTRL-C, then let's just do it uh, in different steps. That's no problem. Back to the layer I want to edit. Back to the eraser. Shoop. And back to the polygonal lasso. Uh, normal lasso. Oh, I just changed the layer to the guide. But it's completely unnecessary to do that. Extra steps. And the mask is done. The underwear is removed and the bottom of the feet as well as the fingertips are removed. Now I have a mask and it's time to drop in the body texture. You want to go over to edit, transform and scale. Oh, also deselect. And if it asks you to smart transform anything, just click OK. That is not doing anything relevant. OK, you go back to your mask layer and again with the magic wand and you just click in an area. And now you have everything selected except for what you want. So you go to inverse and now you have everything selected that you want. Go back to the body and erase that part. Yes, it's okay to rasterize. And now the fuzz will not appear on the parts that you don't want it. 
you ha still have your normal body layer saved, so that will not be an invisible splotch. Remove that layer. That is very important now. And go here to dissolve. Oh, on the body to dissolve. <laughs> now you want to save four layers. 75%, 50%, 25% and 10%. Go to File, Export, PNG, because here you can rename your files. So I can hit 25% and 50%. Also, I, I did turn off my ad block. I don't know why it says I did not. I'm sorry. I would love to watch ads, ads for you, Photopia, because you're really a great editor that I appreciate. Maybe I need a different browser. 25 and now 10%. As you see, it gets more vague, the more dissolved it gets. It will create the fuss that you need. Done. Please give me ads photopia. Oh, here we go. I will start with just a body layer as I toggled it because I don't want to do all the toggling now. It's just a fuss showing, add a texture. Now this is the part that I expect to take longer than I want because Beroid is slow for me. What happens when you work a lot with Vroid because you save a lot of files. First of all, I want to import the thing that I want. Ooh. So much. Alright. Body. Take your time, Vroid, no rush. Then, actually I want to turn on the shader color for the first base color, but I have turned it off to duplicate. You want to have the shader turned off for the fuzz. Now I can turn it back on for here. And here you want to go into the volume settings and look for expand bodysuit. And the first thing you hit is 10. And then go to import over right click. Oh, I forgot one step. Hold on. Bringing in these bad boys. Now it's proper. I'm sorry, the video is what it is. Uh, again, duplicate. Again for the expand toggles. Am I on the right layer? Yes. And this time we go for 25 and import the 50%. You already see it's fussing up here. Not in fingers. Actually, I can, I can already, sh you can already see how it's not fussing up around the hips, which is fair because. You should be wearing these. Now it looks good. And again, duplicate the layer. You will max out all the layers you can stack here. Why would you not? Expand bodysuit to 40. And import to 25%. You can probably mix them up as you like. You, oops, not that template. Duplicate. And you don't have to use these exact numbers. You can experiment a little bit and see what fuzz looks good for you. See these numbers as recommendations. Last one is 55. 
So to sum it up, you have four layers of fuzz in dissolvement mode of 75% that is on expanded bodysuit 5. You have 50% dissolvement on expanded bodysuit 25. You have your 25% dissolve, uh, percent dissolvement on a 40 expanded bodysuit. And the 55 expanded bodysuit is for 10% dissolvement because it's the lightest fuzz. This is how it looks up close. And what you see on the chest here is that there is a slight outline. You see it on the face too, and it can affect how the fuzz looks. So if your fuzz looks quite different, maybe play around with the outlines a little bit. This is already all you need to know. You best know in advance what clothes you're gonna wear. And if you want to change up anything, you just make a new mask and it's quite easy. You can just use the bodysuit again, save it four times with the little edit and you're good to go. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps you create your little fuzzy beans and avatars. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.